shy doing that slow intro. Like, I actually don't know who I think I am. But everyone else does it, and I just want you just to see the makeup. <laughs> so, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be doing this look right here. It is like a gold glitter with a black, and then a topped with a blue winged liner. It is really kind of dramatic, but it's still kind of subtle. It's only kind of when you close your eyes that you see the blue. So, I think it's really fun, um, and I really enjoyed creating it. So, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching, and I'll show you how. Okay, so the first product that we're going to take is the MAC Select Cover Up. <coughs> no way. MAC Select Cover Up in NW15, and I'm taking that on a MAC 225. I am just going to carve out the brows. So, running it right underneath that brow and then bringing it down onto the lid. And this is a really full coverage concealer. I think it's just the most perfect eyeshadow base ever. So the trick with this concealer is that you have to pat it. So I, once I have the concealer where I want it to set the concealer, I pat it onto the eye. Just really light patting motions. Not in too heavy because you don't want to leave like a brush mark in your concealer. You just want to make it really smooth. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to just buff out the edges so that it's not like a harsh line when we go to do our foundation. So I'm just taking a Zoeva uh, 142 buffer brush. It's just a synthetic mini kabuki brush. And that is the base done. Okay, so now taking the Suva Beauty um, Cupcake and Monsters palette. I got this on Trend Beauty. And this palette is just so beautiful and so colourful. It just makes you want to get really creative. So I'm going to take this shade right here and it's called Funny Face. These shades are sold separately as well on the Trend Beauty website. So you can just pick up the shades that are in the palette if you want. Or you can buy the whole palette um, together. I think it was like 40 or 50 euro for the whole palette. So it works out really good value. And yeah, the shades are just such a colourful dream. I love it. So I'm taking that yellow shade on a Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush. So usually I'd always start um, with the 224 brush from MAC. But because this is such a bright colour, I want to keep that intensity of the colour. And I will go back in with my MAC 224 to buff out the edges. But I really want to build up this yellow transition shade because I want it to be really bright in the crease. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm so sorry, I'm going to keep coughing because I'm only over a chest infection and it is so bad. So I'm just using like really small circular motions and I'm not worrying about the blend for the minute. I'm literally just trying to build up that colour. And then once I'm kind of happy, I'll start to buff it out. I'm going to take my 224 brush from MAC and really blend it out now. I'm gonna take the shade Early Bird from Makeup Geek and I'm gonna take another 228 brush from Zoeva and I'm just gonna use this in the crease. It's just gonna blend really, really nicely into that um, yellow shade from Silver Beauty. So this is just to give it more of a gradient effect because if we went in with a brown um, straight away it wouldn't blend the way I wanted to so I'm applying it into the crease and then I'm kind of slightly tilting my brush upwards towards the yellow shade and this is just going to help blend that out and then I'm going back in with my MAC 224 brush with no extra product on it and I'm just meshing them two together so using really light like circular motions I'm just buffing that so now I'm taking the shade Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm taking a Zoeva 227 um, Look Soft Definer Brush and I'm just kind of keeping this a lot lower into the crease. So kind of just applying the product for where I want it using kind of pattern motions and then once I have the colour placed down I'm starting to buff it into the crease.
So the final shade that we're going to go in with is Film Noir Blush from MAC. And I'm shaking that on as we have a 224 Lux um, crease brush. I'm just using a blank canvas E27 brush just so that I have a little bit more control over the product. I'm just patting it on with this brush and then I'm going in and blending it out with the uh, Zoeva 224. And then just to make sure that it's nice and blended, I'm going back in with the Zoeva 227 and this is the shade, the brush that we used Cocoa Bear on, but I'm not picking up any extra Cocoa Bear, I'm just blending whatever is left over on the brush just to help that film noir blend a little bit better. Okay, so going back in with my MAC Select cover up, I'm just gonna use a tiny amount of this product and I'm just going to place it where I want the glitter to sit so it has a nice base. going to take it in halfway and then I'm going to use my finger to blend it out. I'm just taking any kind of matte shade and I'm actually using, which I shouldn't, but I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbl Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder because this is the closest thing I have to hand but it is such a waste because that's expensive. To the set that in place so we don't start like moving around the lid. So going in with my 77 Inglot gel liner, taking this on a Zoeva 317 winged liner brush. Peaches and cream and this is their Wish pigment. Apply that I'm going to use my duo glue in the white shade because this dries clear so this is like a great glitter glue so just a tiny bit so you I'm need. just taking that on a little shader brush and I'm gonna apply the glitter gl the duo glue force to the lid I just applied that and now we can go back in over our gel liner and just make sure that it's perfect. I just find it's harder to get a smooth line with your gel liner if you have like a glitter or a glitter glue underneath. Okay, so I just used the NYX Vivid Bright uh, Vivid Sapphire um liquid liner and i just created kind of like a blue wing and um, so i'm gonna do it on this eye on camera so you can see how i did it i just wanted to do it off camera first to make sure i didn't make a mess of it so i'm gonna just apply it when it gets on your eyelashes. Ugh. So that liner dries really quickly which is great so that is the as. Okay so I am going to go in and do uh, the face. I'm going to keep my hair clipped back. Sorry. Get some MAC softening lotion. This is literally just the nicest thing ever. So I just soak cotton pads in this. And I like to leave it on the skin for as long as I can. I do this with all my clients. It's so funny because like you do look crazy while you have it on. I'm literally obsessed, like obsessed with this. I literally have barely anything left in the bottle. And I only got it like a month ago because I've been using it on clients and stuff. Yeah, but I've been literally just leaving it on clients while I do their eyes. And when I come to do their foundation, it is just... Their skin looks so flawless. A lot of my clients have bought it since because they love it that much. Um, so now I'm going to go in with MAC Strobe Cream. Feels like a lighter texture. <gasps> MAC, what are you doing? Be snapped if they changed a strobe cream. I think it's just in my head. Fab. 
Okay, so going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 240. I take like two kind of pumps and that kind of does my whole face. So I'm just patting it in. You do kind of have to work quick with the product. Um, not as quick as like Ingla HD or anything. But I love the smell of it. I always bring it onto my ears. I know that's like probably weird, but your ears like hold a lot of redness. So like it's a giveaway. I know obviously like <clears throat> people obviously know that I haven't woken up with blue and black winged liner, but I want them to think I'm lateral or as possible. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty um, contour sticks or matchsticks in the shade um, Bamboo. I'm real excited to try the Huda Beauty um, foundation. I've heard really good reviews, so I feel like I'll really like it. I'm just blending that concealer into the skin with the Beauty Blender. I love that concealer, it's so, so nice. I'm gonna go in with the shade Mocha. So I just do like two lines, like here, and then a line in the center, a line at the side, and then just a line kind of under the chin, and then I like to kind of do a line under here as well. So I'm going to use my Nima brush, and then blend the forehead, and then the cheekbone. I'm gonna try out a new product actually today. I'm really excited. Um, it's the it's Mac Cosmetics, and it's their Casual Color Lip and Cheek Color. This is in the shade Keep It Loose. So so beautiful. So what I do, I've I haven't actually used it, but usually with a cream blush, I just dip my beauty blender, the bum part, into it, and then yes, just blend it into the skin with the beauty blender. So I'm just applying the colour where I want it and then blending it in. I just find this gives such like a healthy glow to the skin because it's a cream. You can pop onto your lips as well, it's such a beautiful colour. I'll just show you. Yeah. So I feel like you could defo just use your lipsticks, your MAC lipsticks because that's what it like feels like. So you see like that shine it gives it out actually even pop popping on any kind of illuminator or anything. I'm going to use my Iconic London Illuminating Drops for extra glow. Because that Fenty Beauty foundation is quite drying, I always bring just, not drying sorry, mattifying. I just bring a little bit of like a liquid or a cream highlighter just on to the kind of like high points. As like during the day, I don't really get oily with this foundation. I just put in a little bit of oil onto the skin. And now what I'm going to go in with is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This powder is beautiful. It makes your skin look so flawless and like not cakey at all, which is like amazing. I always just dust whatever is left over under here as well because I like it to kind of clean up my contour. Back, give me sun. Me and the girls are going to Hoat. If you could see the weather outside, they're crazy. But I just love them so I'll go with them. But they want to go to Hoat for a walk. Well, I'm going to wear this like full glam. And a little bit on this so I'm going to go in with that shade Early Board and it's a Weave um, 227 brush and I am going to just apply that right under the eye. So I'm going to go in with the shade Cocoa Bear and it's a Weave 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. Taking the shade Film Noir on a Nima brush and this is their Bertie brush not birthday Bertie like I'm just gonna apply that right 
under here. My camera just cut off, but I just put that gel liner into my waterline and I'm gonna blend it out with a black eyeshadow just a little bit. So I'm just taking the blank canvas E27 brush again. It's just that really small, precise brush. And I'm just going to buff this just right under the lash line. So I'm gonna stick on some doll lash and these are the style Eva. Okay, so before I apply some bottom mascara, I'm gonna go in with some MAC Fix Plus. The reason this one is kind of yellowy looking, it's one of their new um, scents, so this is out for the time being. They bring it out and back every so often, but I got the coconut one and it smells so nice, so I'm just gonna spray some of that on. It smells amazing. Okay, so while the skin is just still a little bit damp, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. This is literally my favourite highlight in the whole world. So sometimes I just apply it like with my finger where I want it. And then I blend it out with the brush. Because you have more control with your finger. Which is the nose. High points. So really glowy. You can see the highlight there. Like it's just amazing. Okay, so I'm going to take these out for a second. I'm going in with it, of course, strip down from MAC to line the lips. I'm going to go back in with that cream blush that we used and I'm going to just apply it to the centre of the lip. I actually really love that as a lip colour. Fab. And I'm just going to blend it back in with my strip down. I'm just going to apply some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Undressed Lip Gloss. Just to the centre. I need like all the moisture my lips can get because I had that flu and it just drained the moisture out of my skin. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have any ideas what you kind of want to see from me next, then leave it in the comments below. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I have all of my links down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm really going to try and upload a lot more now in 2018. That's kind of like a little goal of mine. So I'm going to try and have a video up like every Sunday. Um, yeah, so let me know what you want to see and I will do it for you. Thanks so much um, for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!